milestone birthdays can sometimes make us re-evaluate our lives. While some of us do everything we can to pretend they're not happening, others use them as a chance to make changes. And it turns out it's no different if you're royal, well according to Prince Charles anyway. The Queen's son hits the big 70 in November and he's already starting to think about the big day. He expressed his concerns at an event in Brisbane attended by lots of other people celebrating the same milestone this year. One of his main concerns was some of the things he won't be able to do anymore, including wearing budgie smugglers. He said, I do know only too well, and understand, the strange feeling of disbelief that this is actually happening and that never again, for instance, will it be possible to squeeze into a pair of budgie smugglers? I don't know about you. Ladies and gentlemen, but now bits of me keep falling off at regular intervals. Don't worry, they keep telling me, you have brilliant genes. But the trouble is I can't even get into them either. During the governor of Queensland Paul de Jersey's reception Prince Charles also spoke of his fondness for Australia, which he first visited 52 years ago. He said, when I first came to Australia, Australian manhood was partly defined by how many schooners of beer you could line up on the bar, and drink, before the pubs closed early. He went on to speak about the challenges facing the environment, saying, We are destroying our own life support systems, along with our children's and grandchildren's future. Describing Australia as an example for us all, Charles hailed Aussie values as a force for good. He added, amidst all this, the Aussie character that is so exemplified by the concept of fairness and fairgo is what I believe the world needs so desperately and so urgently, a fairgo for people, our planet and for nature herself.